Hello, Tab Nation. Coming back at you with another Mac OS video having to do with automation. Once again, if you guys want to see more videos on Mac OS, doing with automation, Apple scripts, uh, whatever, definitely like this video. 50 video or 50 likes. Maybe I'll do 50 videos. Um, but yeah, uh, today we're going to be doing uh, some more Apple script, but we're going to be automating it with a hotkey. You know, auto hotkeys, that's one of the biggest things that we love about it. Let me get rid of this inception going on here. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, using the automator um, built into Mac OS. Uh, pretty simple to use, so let's go ahead. We're going to go to our launch pad or however you want to find this. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, so here's this. On my computer, obviously, it could be different on yours. Here's other. You go there, and it's a little robot the guy with, I don't know, is that a batting ram? Let me know in the comments below what you think it is. It looks like a batting ram to me. Uh, but I'm not sure how much sense that makes, but whatever. Um, so yeah. So we launch it, um, and we're just going to be doing something really simple. Here it is. Um, we're going to be doing a service here. Um, there's a lot of different things we can do if you want to know something specific that you think would be a good video, let me know. But this is just a simple uh, introduction, uh, part one, I guess. Uh, but we're going to be doing a service. You're going to click that. We're going to click choose. Uh, if this window, for some reason, doesn't pop up, you can always go up to here to file and push new or um, command in uh, once it's running. Um, so we're going to choose that. Uh, we got this little thing up here. Um, basically, we're just going to do uh, service receive selected text. We're going to change that to no input. Uh, we want this to work in any application. Um, obviously, you can change it uh, if you want. Uh, by default, it has like, you know, the Safari Mail Finder or other. We're just going to keep it working in any application. So why not? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it there. Now, over here, um, you got a huge menu here of just stuff you can do. Um, we're going to be looking specifically for... Yeah, there's a lot of options here, obviously. Uh, let's see. I think it's run. So it is alphabetical order. Yeah, here we go. Uh, run Apple script. Um, obviously, you can also do some other stuff uh, like JavaScript. Um, but we're going to stick with Apple script because that's what we did in our first video. Um, so this, you... Um, can double click on it. You can also drag it over here and you get the little plus symbol. Uh, double clicks just as easy, so you know, we'll stick with that. Uh, and it basically starts out with some simple uh, code here that's already ready for you. It even tells you where your script goes. So put your script here. Um, but yeah, basically it's just, you know, uh, on run, input, parameters, return input, and in run, whatever. Um, so we're just going to keep it simple with our uh, Apple script of Hello World that we used in the last video, which is just display dialog, and in quotations we're going to say Hello World. Keep it simple. Now we want to test it real quick. We can also push compile to make sure there's no errors. Everything, you know, changed to some highlighting here, so that's a good sign. Uh, we're going to push run. Hey, look at that. It worked. Simple as that. Now, we want to make it work with a hotkey. So we are going to actually, in our finder or wherever, uh, we're going to open preferences. Oh, sorry. Ignore me. We're going to click the Apple logo and do system preferences. Specifically, we're going to go to keyboard. We're going to go to shortcuts. And in here are kind of like your default shortcuts and everything that are already there. Um, oh, before we do that, actually, we do need to save the script because it's not going to find it. Um, so we'll call it uh, test, test, test. Why not? What a horrible name. <laughs> We're going to save that. Should be good there. And we might need to exit out of this and go back in for it to refresh. Yeah, let's just, oh, actually, I think I just was in the wrong spot there. Keyboard, shortcuts, uh, services, here we go. 
scroll down, I think it's usually at the bottom. It's, yeah, here we go. So here is our one right here, test, test, test. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, we have uh, add shortcut here. So we're going to click that, and then now you see kind of like an input box. On our keyboard, we're going to decide what we want it to be. Obviously, you might want to check what's already been uh, predefined because you might not want to use that. So we're just going to keep it simple with um, uh, command uh, one, which you got to play around. There you go. You have to click out to actually see it, which is a bit annoying. So command one is now our hotkey. You obviously can, you know, just exit this out or minimize it. Um, you can close this out, whatever. Um, but I could be in, you know, pretty much anything. Let's go back to script editor. And I can push command one. Hold on, let's see here. So command one might already be assigned to something. Let's see here. There we go. So it popped up. Um, obviously that one had a conflicting uh, problem because the hotkey was already assigned to something else in that program specifically. Uh, but there you go. Hello world. So it just, yeah, it just starts real simple. Um, just put it in how you want and you, um, for some reason it's being a little weird on me, but I think it's just because of the specific hotkey that I uh, chose. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to see more in specifically the automator, um, just let me know in, by liking the video. Make sure to subscribe. I'm obviously showing out videos uh, every week about automation, and I recently just got a Mac. So I'm trying to explore Mac OS. It's been 10, 15 years since I've used it. Uh, the automator is very cool and powerful. Something else I want to show you real quick is, for example, if you are in a program, um, you can go up here, and let me see if I can find where it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Gotta remember, it's on here somewhere. Let's try here, it's a little bit more simple menu. Bear with me. Maybe I'm completely wrong. You might have to open something, but I want to show you something that's very helpful. Let's open Chrome here. And this could also be another video with doing web scraping in the future. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know specifically like what you're doing. Maybe I'll do like a video on how to autofill, maybe another video on web scraping. Like I said, just let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty new, uh, or at least getting back into Mac OS, so it's a lot to learn um, with that kind of stuff. I really can't remember where it is, but there is a dictionary thing up here somewhere that's very helpful uh, with finding out what kind of stuff you can uh, do with Apple Script. But for some reason, I can't remember where that is. So yeah, maybe let me know in the comments below if you know exactly uh, how to find that, because that's just weird to me. It seems to have disappeared on me. All right, well, anyway. Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys want to see. Hit it, 50 likes. I move on to a, another uh, Mac OS video, and I will uh, see you all on the next one. Bye!